is uh, very young and this is the music that I always uh, hear and uh, people play it all the time, day and night. This is a tradition that is handed from generation to generation. Nowadays, uh, of course, uh, the younger generations are not as interested because uh, everything is now seen on TV, all kinds of music, Western music is there. That's what I have been doing here. I try to uh, revive the music and to, to encourage the younger generation among my people, especially among my people, to be able to appreciate it. Let's see if we can all bring at the same time. Danny Kalanjian is the only master artist of Southern Filipino Kulintang living in the United States. A Rockefeller grant brought Danny to this country in 1976. This is also used for uh, hitting the gongs. Since then, word of his presence has spread among Filipino communities, and now he is very much in demand as a performer and teacher. Is Kulintang unique to the Philippines? Because I, I heard that you mentioned that in Malaysia they also play like the other gong stuff. Not in Malaysia, but in Malaysia. These Filipino American students, they know nothing about their own heritage. So of course they want to connect to their own roots. And this one is the main instrument. It's called Kulinta. This is the uh, instrument that will lead the whole ensemble. It is only found in southern Philippines where the Spaniards and other foreigners failed to conquer the people there. Therefore, they were able to keep up their tradition. Okay, very close, but uh, the hand <laughs> should not be too loud, you know? So it's a little bit more balanced. My teaching style is, um, I just want to make sure that certain rhythms I teach to my students, they will get it right. Okay, cross. <laughs> In learning this music, you are not confined to learn only one instrument. You have to learn all the other instruments. In 1995, Danny received the prestigious National Heritage Fellowship from the National Endowment for the Arts, an honor that has generated nationwide recognition for his troupe of dancers and musicians, the Palabunyan Kulantang Ensemble. Danny and his troupe will soon embark on an extensive performance tour that will take them throughout the United States. People in the Philippines are starting to uh, realize that it's important to have your own music, traditional arts that you can present here in this country. So many Filipinos, when they come over here, they want to put up their own show. But what do they have? Western music. What kind of dance they know? Spanish dance. So where is the real Filipino tradition that they can present? Nothing. So they are starting to appreciate their own roots because at least you'll be proud of telling people that, oh, this is actually my music.